Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to look at two more ways that we can work with line. And we're going to use uh, two different pencils today. Uh, you'll notice that this is the 4B. And I'm also going to use an F for the bold lines, which are lines that make objects stand out. I am going to use the 4B. And I saw a really cool image online. So what I am going to do is I am going to show you how this is going to work. So the, the image that I saw was nothing more than a series of sausages. And I thought, you know what, this is, this is nice and simple. This is something that's easy to do um, or relatively easy to do. Okay, so the hardest part for me is getting the end of the sausage looking kind of okay. And that's an issue of perspective, something that we will deal with a little later. Okay, so there's my sausage and I'm going to add some pimentos to it because I think that's cool. And what I'm doing now is there are certain lines that I am going to work at making darker. Okay, so that they stand out a little bit more. So for example, if I have, uh, if you've ever seen the uh, sandwich meat that comes in large packages, you'll know, or on large rolls, you'll have seen it coated in string. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding some string here. And you'll notice the difference um, in between the bold lines that I've made and the lighter lines that I've made on my, um, on my really interesting um, sam uh, sandwich meat. Okay, for faint lines, I am going to use my F. And why do we use faint lines? We often use faint lines when we're first uh, designing our piece. So I'm using an F and you'll notice that I'm making very short strokes here and they're very light. Okay. And that's what faint lines are. They're very light strokes. And the reason we do this is because often when we design in pencil, we'll use another medium to actually create our work. And they are easy, faint lines are, to erase and change and do with what we please. Okay. Um, oftentimes beginning artists uh, will start their design with really thick, heavy lines like this. And then they'll discover, oh no, this has like a little knobbly at the top. I don't like that. And it's very, very hard to erase. You can still see um, very faintly where the lines, the original line was. Okay. Uh, we did this, I did this anyway, when we all drew our houses in kindergarten and grade one, we used really, really hard, heavy lines. And there's no, you know, I mean, they can be erased, but it's much harder. And oftentimes you can actually damage the um, paper or uh, surface that you're working on if you work um, too hard with your lines. So bold lines definitely have their place, but it isn't in designing. It is when we are designing, that is where we are going to use our nice faint lines and sketch in. And I always try to make short lines as well because um, I find that if I'm doing this freehand, my lines end up just a little bit straighter. 
okay and if i need to erase something like if by accident i put the um in the back side of the roof in having drawn faint lines i erase it and it's gone and i haven't damaged my work surface in any way shape or form hope you enjoyed this video